Illness spread so quickly during the Civil War in large part because there was massive migrations of people. There was a massive migration of soldiers from the north to the south. There were massive migrations of southerners um, moving from small towns to join the Confederate um, forces. As a result, you had all of this movement that accelerated the spread of disease. It accelerated mostly among troops. And then when slaves liberated themselves from the plantation south, they entered into a world that was infected with disease and sickness. And the fact that their emancipation was all about movement only further accelerated the amount of movement that was happening in the South and only further accelerated the opportunities for disease to spread. So I would argue that in many ways, the dislocation and the migrations that the Civil War generated in many ways sparked um, a number of disease outbreaks. The other piece is to sort of think about the state of 19th century medicine at this particular time. Um, doctors in the mid-19th century were divided at this time about how disease spread. So some physicians subscribed to what we would call like a new form of germ theory where they were sort of understanding the spread of disease connected to the environment, so they were looking at the water supply, particularly in relation to the spread of cholera. But other doctors continued to subscribe to the idea that your social status, your morality, your class dictated your vulnerability to illness. And many doctors that treated former slaves both implicitly and explicitly believed that the vast sort of spread of disease among emancipated slaves related to their physiological condition.